Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at GPS Pack Nav from Oliver Meech. What is this trick? Um, basically, it takes the uh, idea of GPS, okay, electronic satellite navigation, and combines it with a playing card trick so that when your spectator finds their card and they sign it and it goes back into the deck, you pretend to use GPS to find their card. You wanna see what it looks like? This is it. Hi, I'm Oliver Meach and welcome to GPS Pack Now. Now I'm really pleased to share this trick with you because I think it's got quite a few things going for it. Uh, so first off, it's got quite an intriguing premise. And secondly, it's got a lot of audience interaction, which is always fun. Uh, thirdly, it's got some built-in time misdirection, quite a lot of it. And uh, fourthly, kind of unusually for a card to impossible location kind of trick, uh, the ending is genuinely surprising to people uh, while still being logical. We've all heard of sat navs or GPS. I'm going to show Deej a pack nav. So first off, please take the pen, hold it like you're about to write. That's great. And then just say stop as I run down the back. Stop. OK, take those, please. And I'd like you to uh, write on the other side of this card your postcode. And don't worry, it's just for magic reasons, not for stalking. All right, so uh, I'll hold it steady and I'll look away. So go for it. When you're done, if you can cap the pen, and I'll grab it back. Cool. All right, so I'm going to take your card. I'm going to place it into those. So lift off a chunk of cards. That's it. Pop one on top. Thank you. And without further ado, I give you the back nav. Now, to the untrained eye, it may look just like a, a chunk of cards. Uh, but if we take the clip off, and I can show you, that actually, just like a uh, sat nav helps you find your destination, the pack nav, GPS pack nav, is going to find your card, hopefully. So we'll turn it on, set it go. Calculating route. Takes about three hours. We'll get a bit quicker, a bit quicker. Uh, in fact, let's swap. So can you hold those like that? And I'll take these. And every time I say next, I'd like you to take the front card, move it to the back, and then read out the next instruction. So okay. go for it. After four cards, turn right. Excellent. OK. So we go one, two, three, four, and turn those over. And we've got a queen. OK, we'll start with that. We'll ditch those. Next. Cues ahead. Cues ahead. What does, um, what does that mean? Let's let's have a look. We've got a queen. Uh, queen. 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 Oh, cues. 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 I should point out it's got it's got a great sense of direction. Not such a great sense of humour. Uh, okay. Next. What have we got? You have reached your destination. All right. Well, let's have a look. Uh, one face down car. Maybe yours. Yes. No. No. Maybe not. Okay. I'm a magician. I'm supposed to find your car. I failed. I'm sorry. Um, so then, what shall I do? Pack nav. Next. Take the exit. Okay, bye. No, wait, 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 wait. We can salvage this. <laughs> Please, next card. Turn around when possible. Turn around when possible. All right. So we'll see if we can turn this into your cards. So we'll turn it around like this and like this. And it changes. Oh, uh, next card. You have reached your destination. Okay. Ah, so was it a red card? It was. Was it a red six? Yes. Was it the six of diamonds? No. Oh, so close. The other six of hearts. Unless, maybe we have reached our destination. Could you please turn over that card that you've been holding since the start? Is that your card? It is. Show the camera. Shazam! And you can keep that as a souvenir. All right, so that was Oliver Meech. He is based out in the UK. You might be familiar with some of his other tricks. He did uh, a couple of books, actually. Uh, he did Drawn In and Plot Twists, and you might want to check those out. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the bag? What is in the bag? You're going to get a plastic bag, and then inside that, you're going to get a DVD. DVD is 23 minutes long, and you're going to get all the cards that you need to do this trick. Uh, there's seven. GPS cards, and then there's 20 destination cards. And the destination cards, uh, you can have the spectator sign, okay, and they get to keep it as a souvenir. And so since there's 20 cards, you can do this trick 20 times. Or you can do it 19 times and then keep one that you never give away. I guess you could have that option as well. Is it what I thought? Absolutely. Um, at its core, it is a card trick, okay? And it kind of follows the plot uh, like Sam the Bellhop, 
You know, if you've seen Sam the Bellhop or you're already familiar with that kind of routine, uh, basically it's a deck stack, and then you walk the spectator through the stack, showing them different cards that kind of reveal different clues about the story. And so instead of using the old vintage Sam the Bellhop story, what Oliver's done is he's redressed it with uh, GPS satellite navigation directions that uh, I think more people are familiar with. How are the angles? Um, there aren't any. It's a really easy card trick, okay? And there's no real slights or moves. It's pretty much all laid out within the deck stack. Can it be inspected? Absolutely. In fact, the, at the end of it, you give them the gaff card, right? The card that they've written on. The back side of it will have the GPS uh, locator on it. So it kind of also makes it a uh, card to impossible location effect as well. So you've got Sam the Bellhop, card to impossible location kind of married together. Uh, and so, like I said, you get 20 of those, and so you get 20 shots to do that trick. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, it looks like Oliver Meech kind of self-produced this himself. <laughs> so probably shot it himself, but it is well done. Um, he has a studio performance, and he walks everything through for you in those 23 minutes, and it's well shot. All right, so is the product well made? Um, Oliver has done all these cards uh, through Bicycle. So United States Playing Card Company made all these cards. So they're on great stock. They're gonna fit right in with all of your other um, bicycle made uh, normal faces decks. How much practice does this trick require? Um, not a whole lot. Like I said at the beginning, it is a deck stack at its core. And then you just follow the deck stack through remembering the story. So if you can remember the story, you know, the pattern that goes along with it and how the deck is stacked, it'll follow itself and walk you right through. All right, so what are the positives? What are the positives to GPS PacNav? Um, Oliver Meech has created a very whimsical card trick that is sure to put a smile on all of your audience's faces. Negatives, what are the negatives to GPS PacNav? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, there's a couple of things in this deck that kind of lend uh, your audience to go, what? Because, you know, Oliver Meech is from the UK and we don't call GPS sat nav, which is what pack nav is a play on words for. Sat nav is what they call GPS in the UK. Sat nav is satellite navigation. We just say GPS. So the first card there, the title, I guess you could skim right past and just say, hey, look, it's GPS because it says GPS and just ignore the fact that it says pack nav. There's another card though that says cues ahead and we don't say cues in the United States. We say lines. We say you're going to get in line. You don't say you're going to get in a, into a queue. And if the cars are all in line, you would say that was traffic. Or you might say the cars were in line, but you wouldn't say the cars were in queues. And so it's a play on words because in your deck of cards, there are cards with the letter Q on them, right? The Queens. But that would be a joke for somebody in the UK, but it wouldn't really be a joke for somebody in America. So I think some of those references are lost on an American audience, but Oliver will talk to you about how you could eliminate some of those cards from your routine if that bothered you. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's 40 bucks. $40 and you get a 23 minute DVD and you can only do this trick 20 times if you have the card signed every time and then you'd have to buy it again. Seems a little high for me. It would have been nice to have gotten more cards for 40 bucks. That's just me. But I mean, a normal deck of cards is around 10, 12, $15. So it seems for $40 I could have gotten an entire deck. I don't know, that's just me. Who would like this? I think fans of Sam the Bill Hop, fans that like little stories that you know go through a deck stack and you make your audience laugh and it's fun and it's whimsical. Maybe you've wanted to do a card to impossible location and this seems right up your alley. Uh, definitely you should check out GPS PacNav from Oliver Meech. All right, so that is my review for GPS PacNav from Oliver Meech. I want to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this trick for me so that I could do the review for you. And if you want to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.